Hey Magic Tarot Crew, how are you doing? I am doing a video about Justin Evans, but it's going to be more about his friend Bud and the girlfriend to see what their involvement was. We're going to see what Spirit has to say and what the cards have to say, okay? But first, I got to take a trip to Walmart. There is one dessert that I make that I would like to show you because a lot of people ask me what I eat. So I'm going to take a quick trip to Walmart. Do you want to come? Let's go.
That was my little short trip to Walmart. Just got a few stuff that I needed. I'm gonna go home and make my dessert. It's got Cool Whip blueberries, bananas, strawberries, and walnuts. And I'll show you when I'm done. And then I'm gonna start the video. And I'll see you then. Okay, I promised you I would show you the dessert that I make. So I have the sugar-free Cool Whip that I just bought at Walmart. I'm gonna put everything in this bowl here. I have all my fruit I freeze because I can't eat it fast enough. So I got frozen blueberries and then I got the frozen strawberries and bananas. And then I have the chopped walnuts that I bought and the, sorry, I got a mess in the background, and the almonds, okay? So since these are frozen, I'm going to Put them in here and then I'm gonna throw them out for like 60 seconds or less, less, maybe 30 seconds. And then last but not least, I am doing the Cool Whip. 
Just adding some. This Cool Whip is sugar free and I think it's uh, 20 calories to two tablespoons. And like I said, I use a lot, but I don't eat the whole thing. I only eat a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to add some stevia to it to make it sweeter. I keep my stevia in here. Stevia is an artificial sweetener and um, it's one of the best ones because it's made from the root of a plant. So that's the only one I use. Oops, that was quite a bit. But anyway, mix it up. Okay, that's what it looks like all mixed up. And... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And the crunchiness of the nuts. And then the sweetness. And then the blueberries here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So when I want something sweet, that's what I eat. Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine and I have a eight card spread here for you. Now, I did say that I was going to do another one about Justin Evans, Justin Evans. But this is, I asked the cards about his friend Bud and his girlfriend Kiera. Okay, now remember y'all, this is alleged. The information comes from my spirit guides, the tarot cards, and then my own psychic ability. This video is for entertainment purposes only. It's alleged. And I have to say that because of YouTube. And y'all don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please ring that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. So you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Um, if you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below. Okay, so <clears throat> everything else is in the disclaimer box down below. So I asked the cards, did Bud and Kara have anything to do with the disappearance of Justin, okay? Now, if you want the truth, you come here. If you want fake, go elsewhere, <laughs> all right? Now, I have pre-shuffled because that's just what I felt like doing. Sometimes I shuffle on camera, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I feel, all right? So, I asked if they had anything to do with his disappearance, and the first card I got was the Seven of, of Wands, okay? If you can see here, this man looks like he's in distress. He's on a hill, and he looks like someone is jabbing at him with these sticks, these wands, and he is jabbing back. So this person is literally protecting themselves. He is in deep thought about what is going on because the blue, that's what that represents. But if you notice, he has the advantage because he's on the hill, so he's able to strike down at the people that are jabbing up to him. And I'm seeing this energy with Justin. I'm seeing... Not just with him, but with Bud and the girlfriend, because um, there was gossip. This card also comes up when there's a lot of gossip, okay? And I do feel like it was third-party gossip, internet gossip. Uh, they were looking at each other, spying at each other. Um, <clears throat> people posting, they were all posting stuff and then deleting, you know, stuff like that. So there was some type of gossip that had come up. That made one of them angry. Was it Justin? Was it Kara? Was it Bud? I kind of feel like it was... Justin was upset about it, but I feel like Kiara instigated it. Okay, we're going to find out. So, this is the judgment. Now, you see the angel is blowing its horn, his horn. And um, the people are waking up. They were in a deep sleep. They're waking up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. because a little bit sick coughing. And um, this is the aha card, the awakening card, the judgment card. But we call it the great aha card because the angels here waking you up to make you realize something that you didn't realize before. Okay, so a lot of times when there's m hidden information or missing information, this is what comes up, the aha card. So the angels here, 
and you notice there's a red cross that means help is on the way so he's blowing the horn saying wake up pay attention to the surrounding events around you to what's coming because you're missing something okay so what are we missing okay so the next one we have the four of cups it looks like here's someone sitting under the tree they're not very happy look at the face they're looking down they're got their arms crossed and legs crossed that indicates no that you're mad you, you don't want to be bothered so you cross your arms and legs you're standoffish but look there's a hand from the universe coming in offering a cup of love now who offered who what okay now what i'm getting is in the very beginning i'm almost feeling that bud's girlfriend had offered justin a cup of love and he refused okay i feel like she flirted with him or offered him maybe sexual activity or something to that effect while she was already with bud and he said no and it pissed him off okay so i'm feeling that this was part of the beginning stages of what happened to him okay well when she got rejected made her mad started all this gossip and stuff you know she got angry didn't like him plus he was uh, um with bud all the time and she wanted most of bud's attention so she began to get jealous i keep saying that and i keep hearing that in every video i've done this is the third one i hear the same thing <clears throat> now because of his decision to um refuse it looks like here he didn't have victory with this situation. This is the card of victory. This is the crown of victory when the sword is in the upright. But sword's cut. So it can go either way. This is a double-edged sword. It has two sides here. The lighter side is the good side, which is in the upright. And then the darker one is in the reverse, which means your venture was not successful. So his venture was cut short with these people here. Okay, why was it cut short with these people here? Because of this reason here? Because this fell right next to it. Because of what happened here in the very beginning. I'm feeling this happened in the very beginning when Bud was with this woman. I feel like she made a pass at Justin. She, um, you know, offered him sexual activity or, you know, something like that. And he refused because he was Bud's friend and she was already involved with Bud. Okay, the story is coming to get the story is coming together now this is the card of in the upright is the eight of <clears throat> cups this is when someone wants to go off on their own journey they're leaving everything behind that once meant something to them that's what these cups are and they're very passionate about leaving and they're in their mind a lot about wanting to change something do something different and i felt like that's what justin wanted to do after he had been you know, all these, with all these people for such a long time, I feel like he was having talks about that. Like he was saying, you know, I might leave, I might go in another direction, you know, maybe I shouldn't stay here anymore or whatever, but it's in the reverse, okay? So that again was cut short. It seems like <clears throat> he had already made a decision, so when it's in the reverse, it means that you're already at, you've already arrived at that decision that you want to move forward, get away from everything and everyone that once meant something to you, including Bud, including the home he was living in, including, you know, all the people he's been around all this time. I'm feeling that he, Justin, uh, was tired of the gossip and of everything that was going around. So he decided to go off on his own maybe he announced to them hey i'm gonna be moving out i'm gonna leave maybe get my own place because in the reverse that's what this means it means you're going off on your own you're gonna go back into the world you're gonna seek your own life um seek your own adventures new adventures maybe find a new love interest um you know re-entering the world okay <coughs> excuse me so i feel like this made but angry or maybe it made the girl angry or just made one of them angry because they were feeling like maybe they were being abandoned or uh just got upset about it because of the arguing they were having there was arguments there okay there was there's hidden arguments there that nobody knew about okay it had a lot to do with gossip on the internet 
and stuff like that. Now, this is the four of uh, swords. This represents when someone is tired, you know, taking a break, um, wants to get away from everything and everybody, just too tired to fight, I'm kind of feeling like they're imprisoned. And I do feel like it was either Bud um, feeling this way and maybe just wanted to leave that situation. Could have been the girl as well, but I think this was more Justin or or Bud. Also, I'm thinking that Bud might have said something to the girlfriend, Kiara, to indicate saying that it was her fault that Justin was leaving and maybe they got into an argument. I'm getting all these scenarios here, okay, y'all? <laughs> there's a lot to the story. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of parts to the story, okay? Because there was a lot of people involved in his disappearance, okay? So for the next one, we have the, um, let me get it here. See, this is the two of cups in the reverse. This is what I'm talking about. In the upright, this is new love, a new beginning. But now here, there's a loss of love, okay? So what does that indicate? Who was in love? Who was together? Bud and his girlfriend taking a break. It, it, it's right next to taking a break. Um, or it could be the friendship of Bud and Justin falling apart. Because this means a separation of two people that was supposed to last a lifetime. Because there's an infinity sign. So that's supposed to last a lifetime. But what happened? Okay, what happened? They fell apart. He, Justin wanted to take a look. It fell right underneath this one. Justin wanted to take a break, get away, get away from all this gossip and all these people and be off by himself. <clears throat> so there was a breakup. Nobody knew about all this stuff because they pretty much kept it within, amongst their group. Okay, so at the end, I asked, did Bud and Kiera have anything to do with the disappearance? And I got the nine of cup so what does this mean this is the genie this is the yes card whenever you want a question answered uh, just a simple yes or no this card will pop up if it's yes and the reverse it's no and what did it pop up as yes yes they had something to do with his disappearance now the next video <laughs> i'm gonna show i'm gonna ask the cards how they did it, okay, because this is going to have many parts to it, y'all. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. But my main question was today, did Bud and, and the girlfriend have anything to do with this disappearance and why? And this is what I got. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and I've said that from the very beginning, and I'm going to continue to say that. This is what the cards say. It, this does not reflect my own personal thoughts and feelings, y'all, because I don't know these people and I really don't know what's going on with them. I'm only telling you what the cards say, literally what the cards say, allegedly what the cards say, and what spirit says. All right. Now, tune in for part four, which I might do tomorrow, and we will see what comes next. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you show enjoyed my video um, and my little grocery trip. And maybe I'll do more. Y'all tell me in the comments if you like that, and I'll do more. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.